Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how you can export the intermediate and root certificate from the server certificate or also called the SSL certificate. Apart from that, I will also give you a small overview of your intermediate root and server certificate. However, I have explained all these concepts in very detail in my SSL series. I would recommend to go for to watch my SSL 1, 2, 3 and 4 series to get a complete and to an understanding of your SSL and the, how we can implement the SSL. So many times it has happened in that uh, professional environment when we uh, go for the configuration of, of SSL certificate, specifically the third party SSL certificate, which we get from the uh, third party outside authorities. Okay. And for that, we get only the SSL certificate. Okay. But the requirement is when you go for uh, the implementation of SSL certificate for extra layer of securities and for trust, you have to uh, implement the intermediate and root certificate as well. That is means when you are going for an SSL configuration, okay, then you need a three certificates. One is the server certificate, which is also called the SSL certificate, which contain your identity, your organization identity, okay, apart from that, the public key. And second is the intermediate certificate and the root certificate. This is the extra layer of security that is provided by the uh, uh, certificate providers, okay, and it also contains the authenticity of the uh, third-party CA providers, which can create a trust on the end users who are going to access your website. So overall, you can say that for, for a complete end-to-end -end SSL configuration, whenever you are going for a third-party SSL configurations, you need three certificates. One is your server certificate, which we also call the SSL certificate, which will contain your, your identity and the public key. Second, you need an intermediate certificate. And third, you need a root certificate. And all these certificates you have to import in your key stores Right. And then that key store, you need to point to your applications. OK, for to create the identity and trust and for you can say or for the end to end SSL communications. OK, and many times when you go for the SSL configurations, you may get only the server certificate. OK, uh, maybe you have an internal structure in the organization that where you are not getting direct certificate directly from the authority. You have a multiple teams and then you are getting the certificate from some some internal team who are asking you to go for the implementation of the certificates. So if you have got only the server certificate, but they have not shared the intermediate and root certificate with you, then it's not a problem because that server certificate also contain the intermediate and root certificate as well, which you can export from the SSL certificate or you can say from the server certificate. Okay, and I will show you how you can export the, uh, the intermediate and root certificate from the server certificate okay for example i have taken an example of google uh, certificate okay and this is the google certificate that i have downloaded from the google website okay and once you will download the certificate for for, for the google okay and then in, in in this particular certificate you can see the validity of this certificate is from 12th of december till uh, june of 23 okay so so this is the certificate of google which you can download from the google.com website as well okay and from this certificate, I will explain you how you can export your intermediate and root certificate. So first, first let us see that how we can download the server certificate of Google website, okay, uh, for your demo and uh, your own practice purpose. Okay, just go to your google.com website. Okay, once you will access that one, you will see a lock icon at the left corner of your URL. Click on that one and then you will see a connection is secure. Click on the connection is secure and then you will see the message that server is valid. Okay, so this is it is showing the validity of the server certificate or you can say the SSL server of your google.com website though the Google team has implemented for this particular URL which is google.com. Okay, so after that click on uh, you have to click on the certificate is valid. Okay, once you will click on this one you will see this kind of a pop up window. Okay, then there you have to click on details. Once you will click on details. Okay, just click on your export. Okay, and after clicking on export. Uh, you have to save the certificate in a particular location and in on your system and this will be stored in the form of dot crt certificate okay and this will be your server certificate or the ssl certificate of your google.com okay now once it is downloaded click double click on that certificate okay so once you will double click on that certificate it will show you uh, three different tabs just click on the certification path tab once you will click on certification part tab, it will give the complete chain of the certificates. Okay, that means as, as I said, you will have a three certificate. One is your server certificate, uh, which is also called the SSL certificate, your intermediate certificate, and then your root certificate. Okay, so in the certification part, you will see the three certificates. The first topmost it is showing as a GTS root R1. 
So the first top mode certificate is a root certificate. After that, as a name is also explained that it is an intermediate certificate. So there's an intermediate certificate as well, which is the second one, which is the name GTSCA1C3. So this is an intermediate certificate because it is exists between your server certificate and root certificate. Okay, and third one is the google.com, star.google.com, which is a server certificate which, which you have just downloaded and double clicked and then you're seeing the details, right? So now you have a server certificate. Now what we are doing is we have to download the root certificate and intermediate certificate, which is showing on the screen. Okay, then first we will download the intermediate certificate and the process to downloading the root certificate would also be same. So click on your intermediate certificate. Once you will click on that one, you will again see three tabs, click on the details. Okay, and once you will click on details, it will show you the complete details of that particular intermediate certificate. Okay, what is the version of that one, signature algorithms used to create the certificate, what is the validity of certificate, who is the issuer of that certificate, and a lot of other details as well. Okay, after that, click on the copy to file because we are going to export this particular certificate, right? So copy to file and it will open a wizard for exporting the certificate. Click on next and on next screen, select the format as base64 encoded x.509.cer, second option. Click on this one and click on next, right? And then you have to give a name for the certificate that you are exporting, okay? So I have exported my Google certificate, server certificate with the name as google.com google.crt and uh, the intermediate certificate that I have given name as Google Intermediate Cert, okay? And it is up to your choice, whatever the name that you wanted to have for this certificate for according to your understandings, okay? And then click on next. Okay, now next it will show you the details of uh, the certificate where you are going to be uh, exported, exporting the certificate. What is the format of that one? Export keys, there is nothing export keys. Okay, and after that you just click on finish. So once it is finished, it will show you the message the export was successful. Okay, then go to the location where it is downloaded because my server certificate was on desktop. So this particular certificate also extracted on my desktop, okay? So once you will open that particular certificate and then you will see the content like this, which is showing you on the screen, okay? This is the CER format of your intermediate certificate, okay? So this content, or you can say this certificate you need when you are going for the configuration of the SSLs along with your server certificate. Now this is your intermediate certificate, right? And again, now you need a root certificate as well, right? So for that one, again, you have to go to back to your double click on your server certificate, and then instead of the intermediate, now click on the first one, which is the root certificate, okay? And rest the process that you have to follow. It is the same as you have for the intermediate certificate. After that, you will have a root certificate as well, okay? So now you have a server certificate, you have a root certificate, and you have an intermediate certificate, and now you can go ahead and configure your SSL configuration. Thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for a few more interesting videos. I will come up with a few more interesting videos very soon. Thanks.